Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to another video. This one is one you guys have asked for. This is of course the best gaming TV to get in 2022. Now I haven't checked out all TVs, but here are some of the ones that I really like. Now I'll start off with the Sony X90K. Now I have the 65 inch version and what you see here with this TV is one that fits in a couple of categories. Price point, it's under $1,000. This is a mini LED full array TV. And yes, it is not an OLED or a QD OLED, but this TV packs in a lot of great features. You've got two HDMI 2.1 ports. I've got the Sony XR processor and you've got calibration for the PlayStation 5. So if you're a PlayStation 5 user, this is perfect for you because you don't need to calibrate this TV. This TV works in sync with that. It's got Google TV built in together. It's a very light TV to set up and put around within your home. So I definitely like it for that. And I think it's absolutely solid. So uh, the Sony X90K is my very first TV. And if you're getting uh, 55 inch, it's actually $800. So price point is really good. Now, my second TV is actually a group of televisions. I'm talking about Samsung 2022 and 2021 TVs. You're saying, okay, that's a whole category. Not all the TVs, but it does fit in for one particular reason. The reason I'm mentioning this is because Samsung has their gaming hub, which will be available on all 2022 TVs and 2021 between a certain category. Now, if you look at something like the Samsung QN90A from last year, that will be updated to have the Samsung hub. So you have access to GeForce Now, uh, Xbox Game Pass, uh, as well as also Stadia while it's still around. Giving you the ability, of course, to use all the great features from that TV from last year, this year, being able to connect and play game streams directly, or even something like the 2022 Samsung Frame TV, which I do have, that supports that feature as well. And it's great to see if they're being able to just connect your Xbox controller or any controller really that supports Bluetooth connectivity and start gaming from your TV. That really is a great experience, which means you don't have to upgrade your TV. You have an older Samsung TV from 2021. You can use it now to game. And that's my key gaming feature here for this TV. Now, next up is the Samsung QD OLED. Now, this is Samsung's first OLED TV, as I like to call it. And this is one of my favorite TVs of the year. In terms of uh, picture quality and color volume, it does really the best, in my opinion. And I really like the way this TV actually handles. Four HDMI 2.1 ports. You've got, uh, of course, support for uh, all your gaming features in terms of 120 hertz. It does have a game hub as well on that TV. And images look bright and vibrant. Everything runs pretty well on this TV. I love the functionality altogether, which makes it one of my best TVs of the year to actually game on. And I think once you see this TV in person, you really like it. Plus the price point has dropped a little bit and it's pretty much the best price QD OLED TV you will find on the market and it makes it very tempting to pick up. And now my next television is the LG C2 OLED. Now I do have the Star Wars edition, which has a couple of cool features, but honestly, this TV almost takes the cake. It has every single feature, HDR gaming, Dolby Vision gaming, all that fun stuff built into the TV. It is absolutely impressive. And of course it's an OLED, so the colors are, are very rich. The blacks are very solid. This TV looks absolutely amazing. And when you're gaming, whether you're PlayStation, your Xbox, whatever games you're playing on it, they look very vivid and very sharp. And I think this is one of those TVs that people will love. You might not be able to find the Star Wars version, uh, but you can definitely pick up my LG C2 OLED out there. But I have to say, this TV really hits the mark. It's, it was a hard tie between the Samsung QD OLED and the LG C2. Luckily, I can actually game on both, so I'm happy for that, but it's gonna be a tough choice for anyone who wants to pick one. Now, of course, there are many TVs out there which I didn't try, but one that I wanted to definitely include uh, from our friends at Digital Trends is the TCL uh, Class 6 uh, TV. It's a mini LED TV, this year's version. It's also priced under $1,000, and this hits the market in a lot of areas. It's got some really nice color volume, great brightness, has supports, of course, HDMI 2.1 ports, and it really fits the mold for something that will hit in pr pretty well. Now, it's got Roku in there. For those who like or love Roku, that is, of course, your choice. But from what I've seen, it's 
especially from the guys at Digital Trends, this TV actually is a solid addition. All right, so there you have it, guys. Those are the TVs that I think are the best gaming TVs for you. They are different price points, they are different feature sets, and there are some TVs that just basically have, of course, streaming access as the main feature. Let me know what TVs you think are fit into this category and what TVs you're picking up. If you want to do that, use our links down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.